Hey guys, it's John here coming to you with a Disney Store The Little Mermaid review. Here I have for you today, Prince Eric. So let's jump right in and have a closer look at his packaging. Packaging wise, Prince Eric comes in a sea green windowed plastic crystal shaped box with a cardboard backing which shows a faint background image of the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, we have the Disney Store logo at the top corner and Prince Eric's name at the bottom in a crown heart surrounded by gold filigree swirls with sea green and white gems outlining the border of the packaging itself, which also has little sparkle, circle and heart decals all over. The back of the packaging displays the Disney Princess logo, a faint background image of Eric's ship shooting out fireworks, and a promotional image of the Disney Store Prince Eric classic doll. So now, let's jump right in and have a close look at Eric himself. So here we have Eric right out of the packaging looking as gorgeous as ever in his signature white, red and navy casual sea attire. Face wise, Prince Eric is looking extremely handsome with his defined slender face, tan skin, thick dark eyebrows, ice blue eyes which are side glancing to the left in Disney store tradition, upturned nose, adorable dimples and tan lips with a pearly white smile. This year, all of the Disney princes received a major makeover, now donning the new head sculpts and paint first seen in the limited edition Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection. Prince Eric here is definitely one of the best new heads out of the bunch, with nice detailing in the sculpt and paint job, capturing a very close likeness compared to his original animated design, as well as being able to convey his characteristics and personality nicely with his lively, friendly expression coming through, which I absolutely adore. He is, however, a little bit on the tan side. I'm guessing he's been lying on the beach for a tad too long. As for hair, Prince Eric sports a short, naturally voluminous black style, which is beautifully detailed having sculpted strands all around his head with his signature large swooping fringe siding to the left, with strands on the sides of his head following the flow around his ears, and the back strands layering over each other quite realistically. Moving down to clothing, Prince Eric is donning his signature casual sea attire, which consists of a white satin collar top with folded sleeves, a red satin sash, dark navy fabric pants, and lastly blue and black rubber tour boots. Overall, the outfit is a spot-on representation of Eric's iconic look, with brilliant accurate colouring, a nice variety of materials used, and all in all, nice durable quality. Eric has always had quite a basic simple look and it's so great to see it completely represented accurately here. The colours and materials contrast nicely with each other with each piece being different textures giving the outfit an awesome realistic kind of feel. It would be interesting to see a white cotton fabric being used for his top, though I will admit I'd rather like the shiny silky look the satin material gives. I seriously have zero complaints about this ensemble. The outfit itself, though rather simple, is perfectly represented, capturing the exact look and essence of Prince Eric's original clothing. So it gets two big thumbs up from me! Comparison-wise, standing next to the Disney Store 2013 The Little Mermaid Deluxe Doll gift set Prince Eric Doll, the 2015 Prince Eric Classic Doll shares similarities as well as having differences, which include his head sculpt and face paint being mostly different, with the 2013 version appearing narrower and paler, with thinner eyebrows forward-facing bright blue eyes and light pink lips, whereas the 2015 version, which is using the head sculpt of the limited edition Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection Prince Eric doll, appears more defined and tanner, with thicker eyebrows, side-glancing ice blue eyes and natural tan lips. Eric's hair as well now is different, though with similar styles, with the 2013 version having the overall smooth shape and design of the hair, whereas the 2015 version goes further adding individual sculpted hair strands all around his head. His white satin collared top with folded sleeves is more or less the same, with the only difference being the 2013 version having a hemmed collar, whereas the 2015 version just has a raw cut. The red satin sash as well stays similar with a slight colour shade change with the 2013 version appearing an ever so more darker, vibrant red as well as being a tad bigger, whereas the 2015 version is a smidge brighter and smaller as well as having the fold more centred on the sash itself. As for pants, there appears to be further change having both now using different fabrics, with the 2013 version being a bright blue with light blue folds, whereas the 2015 version is a dark navy that tucks into Eric's boots. 
The boots themselves are completely different, besides both having slits at the back with the 2013 version being just black boots made out of a soft plastic appearing taller and longer, whereas the 2015 version is blue and black boots made out of a rubber which sports the blue folded design much like in the original animated movie. Lastly, Eric's body is exactly the same, apart from the 2013 version appearing paler with dark blue underwear compared to the 2015 version which appears tanner with black underwear. All in all, I can definitely see a major improvement between the 2013 and 2015 release of the Prince Eric classic doll, mainly seen in the new head sculpt which captures Eric's likeness so well now, along with the more colour and sculpt accurate clothing pieces which is totally awesome to see. The 2015 Eric in my opinion truly trumps the 2013 version in all aspects, looking more detailed and realistic while giving the doll the liveliness of the animated character which is a point that the 2013 Eric seemed to have lacked. At the end of the day though, both dolls are nice representations of Prince Eric in their own unique way, though the new 2015 Prince Eric classic doll wins it for me, hands down. Articulation wise, Prince Eric here can rotate his head completely 360, his arms can also rotate completely 360 as well as go up, he has about 90 degree bend in the elbow, his legs can be pushed forward, back, he can as well do the splits though that of course is hindered due to his outfit, and lastly he has click knee joints that can click a few times. Overall I am extremely ecstatic with the Disney Store Prince Eric. He has terrific aesthetics with a great updated outfit with closer accuracy in clothing pieces and colours which is fantastic to see. His new limited edition Disney Fairy Tale designer collection head sculpt and paint is definitely the main standout with a striking likeness to his animated character which I absolutely adore. Articulation though is unfortunately a letdown, continuing to be very limited especially in his legs prohibiting him from getting into any dynamic poses or basic ones at that without looking like a robot. All in all I can honestly say that this is the best Prince Eric doll I have seen to date. Not only does he look as handsome as ever along with having accurate clothing, but he also just gives off the spirit of his character that we all know and love seen in the original movie. This doll is a definite must have in my eyes and to those who don't have an Eric, just want to update or like this year's outfit, this is the doll for you. I highly recommend the Disney Store Prince Eric for any Prince Eric, The Little Mermaid or Disney Prince enthusiasts in general. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!